Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me. I woke up like this natural glowy spring makeup look. I don't really know like what to call this. This is definitely not like a no makeup makeup look, like a full blown no makeup makeup look, but it kind of is, but not. So this is going to be a talk through and I'm mainly using a lot of products that are new to the market or new to me at least um things that have been sent to me by pr or whatever that i've never used before especially over the past two months as you can see i've been absent from youtube but i still got a lot of pr stuff and i want to use stuff on camera in front of you guys and see if i like it and tell you my opinions and stuff like that so yeah let's get started so i think in the whole like entire two months I only wore makeup twice, no, like four times, and yeah, I haven't like worn a lot of makeup or anything like that. I've just been bare-faced a lot, so this is going to be interesting. I already primed my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Hydrating. I have only used this a few times, like a little while ago, and so it's kind of still new to me. I really, really like it. I feel super, super hydrated. Um, I obviously did moisturize underneath this too. Lately, my skin's been pretty dry, like dehydrated. I think it's because of the weather change. And on top of that, I've sprayed the Vitamin C Beauty Elixir by Banish. I'm gonna link everything down below. This is like my favorite product like of all time. I'm just obsessed with this so much like as a toner, as like to set your makeup, underneath your makeup. It's just so amazing. Like, you need this in your life. I use these two and I let that dry because I noticed that when I put like moisturizing products underneath my foundations or whatever, it just really makes it so much harder to blend and like streaky and I just didn't want that to happen so I applied that like 10-15 minutes ago. I'm going in with this Tarte BB Cream, it's the Amazonian Clay Illuminizing one. I've used this a bunch of times in my tutorials but I love it so 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 much like I just think it's amazing underneath any foundation it just makes you look super dewy glowy and healthy and that's a look that i'm going for today and let's face it pretty much every other look <laughs> but i really 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 want to have like a really nice glowy spring fresh healthy look you know what i mean like you just woke up like looking perfect pretty much you have to shake this product pretty well because it does separate sorry about that take about that much this is like super lightweight like you can barely um, see any coverage or anything like that. It's not really what it's for. It just really hydrates and illuminizes your skin and just makes it look super healthy. And that's why I put it underneath my foundation. If you have oily skin, I would probably skip this product if you have like really, really oily skin. But um, I just like the glow. And I know a lot of people with oily skin still use um, pretty hydrating products and illuminating products because it just makes you look more youthful in my opinion than like super super matte skin but it's all about personal preference obviously so moving on to foundation i'm using something light this is the l'oreal true match lumi cushion foundation at least i think it's like i've never used this before this is new to me i'm using the shade w2 i hope it matches i have no idea i'm gonna be using a brush from um which brush am i gonna use I'm gonna use a brush from IT Cosmetics. I don't think you should use a sponge with a product like this because it would just soak it all out. It's already in a sponge. So I'm just dabbing. I forgot how to do tutorials, like I forgot how to film. I'm just dabbing into it. Wow, it kind of matches me like literally perfect. This is so weird. I've honestly never found a foundation that matches me this well, I don't think. I don't know if it's like my eyes tricking me, but this looks really perfect in my opinion. So I'm just going to blend that everywhere. I don't know how much to apply because I've never used this before. But I just want my skin to look healthy, glowy, and even. So let's talk a little bit about my absence. I'm not going to just um, ignore the huge elephant in the room. I was gone for two months. From YouTube, um, I don't really have a perfect explanation for my absence besides that I just did not feel good, had a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of personal stuff going on in my life that I don't really want to talk about. I understand that I tell you guys a lot about me because I'm an open person 
and I wasn't adding like a lot of product by the way that was just me mainly blending because this is super liquidy let me talk real quick about this foundation this was very 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 liquidy easy to blend it just goes right into your skin so beautifully I don't know I just really like the way that this applies it looks very very skin like like I don't know if you could see this but I just love it I think it looks so good and like I was saying, anyway, I'm not trying to like not tell you guys everything, but you know what, I gotta keep some of my private life private, you know the deal. And yeah, that's about it. I was just basically having a lot of anxiety and a lot of personal stuff going on in my life. You know how it is. Sometimes life knocks you off your feet when you least expect it with random stuff, but you just, you get back up and you keep going. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm not a quitter. I thought about it though, like I'm not gonna lie, I was like maybe I should just quit YouTube, like I've been gone for so long, what's the point? But I was just like no, like that's not who you are, don't quit, just because you've been gone, they'll understand, at least I hope you guys understand, I really do, I hope that you understand, I wasn't being lazy, I wasn't neglecting my channel on purpose, I thought about it every single day it bothered me, every day I was like I wish I could film today, I wish I had the energy to film today and just be myself in front of the camera, but I couldn't, and I didn't want to just be like fake. In front of you guys so I just wanted to feel myself and feel better and I do right now so I hope that it lasts and that I could just full-blown just dive right back into YouTube okay so I'm gonna be trying this new makeup forever pro sculpting palette in the shade 20 and I'm gonna be just using the brown shade right there with this morphe m436 436 stippling brush I like to use stippling brushes when naturally contouring with cream products and I'm not gonna like do anything harsh just a little bit I know this is a super natural look at least it was supposed to be but yeah oh well, that looks that looks a little harsh bear with me I haven't done my makeup in two months no big deal I'm just contouring everywhere that I normally would so let's talk about hmm. Oh, um, the, the reason why I got this idea for like, I woke up like this is because I was watching this movie. I have like this app on, um, my Apple TV for like FX or something. I think, yeah, I think it's called What's Your Number? So in that movie, the main character who was the girl from Scary Movie, like the blonde one that's in like every scary movie. I don't know if you know what girl I'm talking about. I think her name is like Anna Ferris. I could be wrong. <laughs> Probably I'm wrong. But anyway, she she's like like with her boyfriend, like um whatever, sleeping like in the morning, but like she like puts like a little alarm, I think, to wake up extra early, like way before he does. She like goes to the bathroom, puts on mascara, brushes her hair, brushes her teeth, like combs her eyebrows, like puts a little bit of concealer or whatever. I don't even know exactly what she did, but she just pretty much made herself look like like she would wake up pretty perfect looking. And she goes and lays back down next to him and he like rolls over and he's like, you always look so amazing in the morning. And she's like, I know, right? And I literally thought I invented that move. And I was like, pee my pants. So opinion on this Makeup Forever contour kit. I didn't use the concealer or anything yet. And I'm not going to right now because I have another concealer that I want to try out today. But this is so blendable and very, very natural looking in my opinion. Like, it's so glowy, healthy, blend. I don't know, I just love it. I love it so much. Like, not gonna lie. Every product that I tried today, I love. Maybe because, like, I forgot what makeup's supposed to feel like, and I just love everything. If my nose looks really big to you, I'm sorry, but I've had this, like, issue for the past month or so now with my nose. It's swollen from allergies. No matter, like, what allergy medication I take, I've been to, like, a million doctors, specialists, just to make my nose go down and it won't. Like when I wake up, especially it's so, so puffy swollen. Let me know if this happens to you guys in the springtime. This has never happened to me before in my life and it's just very bad. And it even feels like super poofy right now. I'll try to contour it, but just know that it's probably gonna look like this for the rest of spring and there's nothing that I can do about it. I am very allergic to like every pollen and every tree and every grass out there. I'm so stupid, I should have done this first, but of course I didn't because I forgot how to apply makeup. I'm using this Bye Bye Under Eye 
Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer by It Cosmetics. I've never used this before, so I'm going to try it out. It's very thick. I'm scared. Very thick. Wow. Wow. I already have a creasing problem to begin with, so... I don't know how I'm going to do with this product. It's very creamy to touch. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's very thick. Okay, I don't know why I'm talking so much about movies. Boy, I know why. Because I watch Netflix like every day of my life these past few months. Um, I watched this movie, I think it was on Netflix, called The Best of Me. I always pass by it. It's been on Netflix for like a little bit of a while now. I always pass by it and I'm just like, just like a typical love movie, like whatever. I didn't know that Nicholas Sparks had anything to do with it. Um, and I just clicked it one day because I just watched like every movie on Netflix and I'm like bored. So I'm like, what can I watch next? And I watched it. I am not even kidding you guys. Like one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. And I don't know if it's because I'm such like a hopeless romantic type of person. And I really believe in like true love. But like seriously, it was so good. Probably like his best film. I know he doesn't like do the filming. But like his best movie yet. Like way better than The Notebook in my opinion. And that like pains me to say. And I know a lot of people are gonna like come at me with pitchforks. But I'm not even kidding. Like it was so good. I cried like a baby. I like couldn't stop crying. And I like movies like that. I know like a lot of people don't. A lot of people just like to watch like funny movies or whatever because they don't want to feel anything. But I really like to watch a movie that's going to make me feel like a lot of emotions. Like happy, sad, mad, everything. And that movie literally made me feel all of those things at different times of course. And it just made me feel so super emotional, but like in a good way. Like, I don't know, I just like to feel. Is that weird? I sound like a freaking weirdo right now. I don't know how to really feel about it. Like, I guess my under eye area is like pretty concealed. But like, not that much. Like, it's not that much better than a lot of other concealers that I've tried in my life. Like, I don't know where the hype is in this product right now. I don't know if like, I just can't see because it's not up close. Hold on. I can tell that everything is very, very, very covered. Okay. But it's creasing like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Oh, I hate that. I'm going to set this with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Translucent Powder, whatever. I know this is not a new product, but I don't really have a new under eye setting product, I don't think. I really wasn't looking much into my collection. I kind of grabbed whatever I felt like using, so sorry. But another movie that I tried to watch, and I just want to know your guys' opinion about this actor, Liam... What the hell is his last name? Liam something. Miley Cyrus's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, whatever. I don't even know at this point. I had never seen a movie with him before. Like, I know people, like, die over him, whatever. And I was watching that movie Love and Honor, which I couldn't watch more than like not even half of it because it was just so bad. Like the acting was terrible. I know when to talk, I'm not a movie critic, but I mean he was just bad. Like he was just not good at all. I was like, why is he an actor? Like I could easily do this. He just, I don't know, it didn't seem genuine and I like literally couldn't watch it. I was like, this is horrible. There's this book that I'm reading, it's on my desk right now, it's called Big Magic by Elizabeth something, I don't know her last name, but you can look it up. The same lady that wrote Eat, Pray, Eat, Pray, Love, I believe. I never read that either, but it's a movie so I'm gonna watch it. I'm reading it right now, and it is so, 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 so good. It teaches you how to like live beyond your fear and like take risks and like do what you're meant to do and like how to succeed in life and like how to find your path and it just has so many like amazing meanings in it and I just definitely highly recommend it to anybody. Okay so next I'm going to just do like a cream highlighter and then I'm going to set the rest of my face. I know this is in such a weird order but okay I'm using Moonlight Glow by Pure Minerals. I literally got this in the mail today. They also sent me their bronzer but it came in smashed. I just want to talk about this packaging really quick. Literally looks like Tom Ford packaging. Amazing. So sleek. So beautiful. It's like that golden brown, you know what I'm saying? And it has these three cream 
highlighters. This is in Moonlight. They also have this golden one. Like these are more goldy colors. This one is called Sunkiss, but I'm not going to use that one because I'm pale. I'm going to use this pink toned one in the middle because I really love pink toned highlighters. And I'm going to just apply that. I don't know if I'm using the right brush right now. I'm using the Sigma F55 brush to apply this and I don't see a lot of payoff at all. Hold on. Like I don't see anything. Let me try the the yellower toned one. Maybe I'm not using the right brush. Like either I'm not using the right brush or this product has no payoff. So hold on. I mean this is subtle. Like very subtle. Like barely noticeable subtle. If you like highlights like that that are extremely subtle and like natural looking, um, I would recommend this for you. I am going for natural looks, so I really don't mind. I'm gonna apply like a powder highlight on top of this anyway. But as far as like purchasing a product like this, I probably wouldn't just because I like that highlighted look. Like I don't know, that's just what I like. I would use so much product just to like build it up to another product that I could buy that already has that pigmentation. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's just not doing it for me. Moving along. I'm going to set the rest of my face because I need to set it a little bit, but I'm using a Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. I've used this before, this is not new to me, but I love it so much. It's very lightweight and it is illuminating. It doesn't make you look like super matte or anything like that, like most setting powders do. And I'm going to just take this huge fluffy brush by Luxie. It's the 502 Large Powder Brush. Swirl it around. And just like gently set everything so that when I do like my powder products, it'll just go on much nicer. One of my favorites, highly recommend. Next, we will move on to contouring with powder. I'm using the Kevin Aquan the Sculpting Powder. I have not used this before. I've heard that it's amazing. I swatched it, it looked amazing. It comes in this like very luxurious pouch. This is pretty pricey, but worth it, I think. I haven't used it, but I think it's worth it. Um, it is in the shade medium and it's a very very like especially if you're fair skin like I am I know how hard it is to find a contouring powder that's gonna go with your skin tone you see how like this is cool tone but not like so ashy cool tone like gray like it has browns in it but it's still not like too too warm I just feel like this is a perfect contouring powder and I'm using a Sigma F05 brush to do this I'm gonna tap a little bit on my brush I'm going to go right over that cream, cream contour that I used before. It looks way harsher on camera than it does in person. I don't know if it's the lights, but in person, it is very subtle. Like, I am not using a lot of product, so... It's not me, it's the camera! Equipment fails us sometimes, you guys. You have to understand that. This is extremely, extremely pigmented. You need the tiniest amount for it to do anything. Like, it is crazy how pigmented this is. Now I understand why it's so tiny, because they don't want you to use a lot, because you will look cray. And to bronze, I'm using a Luxie Duo Fiber Stippling Brush in 508. Absolutely obsessed with this, and I'm using my favorite bronzer of all time, Bronze Goddess by Essay Lauder in the shade 02 Medium. I'm just obsessed with this bronzer. I'm not using anything new. And I'm not even kidding, guys. It looks way more intense on camera. Like, I'm barely applying anything. And I just love this brush. This brush is, like, amazing to just blend everything to, like, when it's clean. And you have a lot of product, like, contour, blush, highlight. You just, like, blend it all out with this. It is so good. I highly recommend a brush like this or this brush in your collection. This is pretty affordable, I think. I'm going to link everything down below, as I always do, so you guys can check it out for yourselves. You always want to blend down your neck so that you don't have that like crazy, crazy line, because no matter how perfect your foundation is, something's going to make it look, you know, like it doesn't belong. So for highlighter, I'm using a product that I've never used before. It's relatively new. This is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette, and I'm going to be using... I don't know, maybe a mixture of all three shades. 
I've never used this before. It is gorgeous looking as far as I can tell right now. So let's see, I'm gonna take my NYX fan brush. I don't think a lot of people ask me like where did I get this? I got this at Ulta, but I've looked everywhere online and I can't find it anywhere anymore. I got this like years ago. It's my favorite fan brush and I'm sorry, but I cannot find it online anymore. But I will link something very similar and affordable in my description bar. I'm gonna take mainly this lighter color though because again, I am very skinned obviously. And I'm gonna hit those highest points. But I don't really do. Oh, this is nice. This is this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what I am talking about. Yes, very pigmented, but not like overpowering. It's definitely not as pigmented as like the Anastasia Glow Kits, which I'm obsessed with. Like no one can pry those off my little fingers. But these are really nice. I really like these shades. It's like more subtle. I don't see you're probably like subtle. You look like you have Vaseline on your face. But to me, this is more subtle than what I normally wear. This is like a glowy, natural look. I love this so much. This is nice. I'm gonna use a cheek stain by Tarte. This is in the shade True Love. I don't really use these. I have a few of them, but I never use them. So they're kind of new to me. I really, really do love the formula though. I have used it before. I just don't gravitate towards them. But now that it's spring, I really like healthy, rosy, glowy cheeks. I don't like so much like the matte look or like the super shimmery look. This has no shimmer at all, but it'll make you look dewy and glowy and like healthy, like a real flush of color to your cheeks. You know what I mean? Because it's like a, it's like a very creamy cheek stain. And you can use this on your lips, I think too. Well, it doesn't say. Never mind, don't do that. So I'm gonna use this Tarte brush. I don't know what this is called. It came with the other new Tarte stuff that I got. I think it's like the Rainforest of the Sea collection. I'll try to link it for you. It's like a cool like stippling brush that is shaped like a blush brush. So I'm just stippling some of this product on. Hopefully it's not overkill, because these are pretty pigmented, but I do like my blush, so. Even if it is, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I really, really like the way that this looks. I got a little closer so you guys can see better, I hope. Next, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I have these new ColourPop brow products, and I don't know which one to use. This is more like the dip brow. This is more like the brow is, if you want to reference Anastasia, because, I mean, hello, I feel like she makes the best brow products ever. So let's check them out. These are the dip brows. I mean, I'm going for a more natural look today, so I'm probably going to use a pencil. Pretty much every shade. I don't know what shade I'm in. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go with pencil. Sorry. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully they're blendable. I have not really used them. I've like swatched them on my hand and stuff, a few of them, but not, not really. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Bangin' Brunette. I mean, please take me out to dinner first. The packaging feels very, very cheap, lightweight, not like luxurious or anything like that, like a brow whiz. But what do you expect? This is literally $5. Like if you're on a budget and you're looking for probably quality stuff, I haven't tried this yet, but ColourPop makes very quality stuff. I mean, you can't really go wrong with $5 brow products from ColourPop. This reminds me exactly of the brow whiz, like the shape of the actual applicator this is not like the new brow definer at all it's like the whiz it's very very thin and i'm gonna just do like hair like strokes this is actually really dark like really dark do you see how dark that is i'm gonna try and do this i'll be right back you guys extremely extremely pigmented i mean do you see how dark these are and that is like the third to darkest shade. There's Bangin' Brunette, Black and Brown, and then Jet Set Black. And usually I'm like the second to darkest shade because I have like almost black hair. My eyebrows are literally black, but I mean, this was so pigmented. I had to use a little bit of Dope Taupe, which is like more for like light brown blondish hair. But I mean, very, very, very pigmented. Like extremely, extremely creamy, but like almost too creamy in my opinion. 
Like, I don't know if I love this product. For the price, I think it's great. For the price. But like, over the other brow products I use, normally, I mean, I don't think I would reach for this over them. Like, I'm not saying this is my new favorite. But for the price, I think it's good. This is the Tarte She Dreamed, She Believed, and She Succeeded palette. Um, I don't think, I hope this is not limited edition, but we're trying new stuff here. So I'm going to take Trailblazer and my SK blending brush in number 14 and just apply that very lightly onto my crease and not precisely or anything like that at all. I'm just doing this to add a little dimension, a little something to my eyes so that they don't look extremely boring. So that's what that, and next I'm going to take Rosy Outlook, which is this shade right here. It's a very pretty, like, pink, champagne -y, shimmery shade, and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. It's a nice shade for spring. I like light, very, like, subtle pinks with shimmer in them on my lid in the spring. And just, like, a crease color, and that's it. Like what I'm doing in neutral. Look, obviously this is not an exact I woke up like this look because you don't wake up with eyeshadow, but that's okay. From that palette, I'm just using two shades. And then for my brown bone and my tear duct, I'm going to take this shade again from the Tarte palette that has all of these shimmer shades of Skin Twinkle palette. And I'm going to just apply some of that. I don't want it to be like overkill, but just a little bit. Next I'm using my current favorite everyday go-to lip combo, which is this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked 2. And I just apply that like very softly. I obviously can't talk while I'm doing this, so hold on. There's that, and then my favorite lipstick ever, ever, ever for natural looks, just every day, is Pillow by it Cosmetics, the Vitali, Vitality Lip Flush, what, butter, whatever. Obsessed. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. But like, I'm not even kidding. So many people are always like, what lipstick is that? Oh my god. And I'm obsessed with this. It's just called Pillow. Go on the It Cosmetics website. I'll link it down below. Last but not least, mascara. I'm using what I don't think I've used this before. I don't know. Maybe. Even if so, I don't remember using it, so it's new to me. The Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. I'm just gonna apply a few coats of this and I'll be right back. I really like this mascara. I think it's really nice. Um, I don't think it's like revolutionary or anything like that, but it's really, really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. I feel like it gave me a lot of length and thickness. And yeah, that's really it, guys. That's a really long video, probably. It's probably gonna be really long, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep you anymore. Um, I hope that you like this look. This is just a nice, natural, glowy, spring, everyday makeup look. I don't know what to call it. We'll see what I title it. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. Thank you so much for those of you who stuck around who are still subscribed to me, even though I was gone for so long. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I promise that I'm going to try my best to upload as much as I can. I really do love this. I love YouTube more than anything in the world. I enjoy it so much, but... I hope that you could understand that. I was just going through a lot of stuff at the moment. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.